Chef Sheldon Raju is passionate about adventure, sustainability and food, and not necessarily in that order. In fact, you could say that there's nothing stereotypical about his cooking, and he tries to turn every meal into an adventure. With sustainability in mind, Sheldon has prepared his take on a fish barbecue. I'm still out in the Marigold field. I've had such a great time here, I, I couldn't leave actually. Today was quite special. We spent the day just gathering, looking for green beans. There's such a bounty available here. Yeah, that's amazing, you know, just to still have families still living very close to nature and looking after it and how it, they sustain their livings from it as well. I got a little farmer's table I put together for you guys today. We got some green beans over here some broccoli stems, some beautiful marigolds. And just down the road, I picked up a nice little pomegranate. I got the seeds out and tossed them together with some cranberries that have been dried. And this is quite special, little basil, almonds, and coconut just all tossed together as well. And the great tomatoes that just like come out of his garden, amazing. I picked some basil just to marinate the fish with, and I squeezed some lemon juice, added a clove of garlic to it. And I just crushed it down in the pestle and water. And I'm just gonna marinate my fish with that. This is a beautiful little fish that gets caught off Mozambique, and it's an uh, angelfish. I'm gonna get him onto my little grid now, and then I'm gonna get that ready to start cooking. I'm just gonna let this go on a nice high heat, get that skin really crispy, and then slowly cook it and move it away to the sides. Slice a little lemon here, get some acidity on there. Season a little mulled and salt. Guys, this is going way too quickly for me, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna push it on the way, all the way back to the back of my grill. Oh, that nice little crispy skin already coming out nicely. So, I'm gonna start off with my green beans. My water is almost up, I could see. A little steam coming out from the sides there. While the water's boiling though, let's get onto our other little salad. Our fish is looking amazing, slowly going over there. And I'm gonna use my tomatoes that I've pre-washed here. I'm gonna cut them in different shapes and sizes. I'm just gonna season in here, a bit of salt some lemon juice. I'm gonna to toss that together with this beautiful pomegranate cranberry mix I've got going on here. And then these beautiful little almond, coconut, basil, all gonna to toss all together. And then I'm just gonna keep this light, fresh, and simple. What a farmer's table is all about. I've just got some beautiful olive oil and I'm gonna just give that a little drizzle over there. Nice, colorful, fresh, green. That's what home cooking is all about. Finally, my water's come up to a boil. Ah, I'm just gonna quickly pop these in. They should go in for about two minutes or so. And then once the broccoli stems are cooked, I'm gonna just chuck them on our grill, get them nice and charred, squeeze a bit of lemon juice, and then I'm done. So those are ready. I'm just gonna take them out. I'm gonna get my broccoli stems on the grill there. Nice and close to the heat. Okay. Let's, ooh, grab a little taste. Mm. Perfect. Now, time to finish up. The weather's changing a bit. And we want to get indoors and enjoy some of this. A little squeeze of lemon juice here. Some salt. Give a little toss. These are coming out. Some lemon juice. A little bit of my olive oil. Amazing. A little garnish. I'm just gonna spice up my tomato salad a little bit. Got some of my mum's chili powder. A little bit more marigolds, because it's in season. <laughs> and my fish, as you can see, is just still beautifully moist on that side. I'm just gonna give him a quick little flip. Just take a look at that, that's what you want. Beautifully, slowly cooked fish. Okay, great, let's take it off. And just listen to that crunch and just have a look here. All that's left, I'm just gonna garnish really quickly. A little fresh lemon, a little burnt lemon, and a little squeeze. That's it, guys. What a great afternoon. There's some hungry co-workers of mine waiting to tuck into this. From me, Sheldon Raju, it's been a pleasure. Until next time, happy cooking, and I'll see you soon.